Welcome to Rise Up Namobia. So in this video, we're going to be looking at linear equations involving one unknown by Matt Yanata aka the resistor of bad and the lover of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore walk by faith and not by sight. So to explain this, we're going to be using three example questions, okay? Which are A, B, and C. Example number one. So what do we do when we have a question like this, for example? So one thing to bear in mind is that we want to find the variable or to find what is equal to the variable. In this case, our variable is this m. Okay. What is equal to the m? Because this 3 is equal to 2 plus m. But now, what is equal to the m alone? Okay? So now to do this, I'll be showing you two ways in which you can get the answer. So in the first way, we can do this by cancelling out this number, which is with the m. Okay? Let's try to get the m alone on this side. So the m next to the m is a positive 2. So we cancel out that positive 2 by minusing 2. On this side of the equation now remember in algebra or let me say in these linear equations whatever you do on one side you do on the other side now because we minus these two to cancel out the two above on the other side we also have to minus a two okay so two minus two what do we get it will cancel out so what is left only the m is left now on the other side of the equation 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. And just like that, you have found your answer for the variable. So m equals to 1. Okay? Now, another way would be... So this is the same equation. I just added the triangle and the circle to make it easier. Or to show the like terms. Look at this 2 and this 3. These are like terms. Now this m doesn't have a like term. Okay? So in this way, what we can do is take all like terms to one side. Okay? So which means this m stays alone this side and then we take this two on the other side so they can both be like terms on one side. But one thing you need to bear in mind is that each time you take a number over the equation sign, or the equal sign, sorry. And then you have to change the sign. Say for example, this 2 is a positive 2. So if you are going to take it to the other side, it will become a negative 2. Okay, I'll just show you now what I mean. So this was a positive 2. But after you take it to the other side, so that it can be with its like term, it becomes a negative 2. So, each time, just remember that each time you move a number to the other side, the sign in front of it changes, okay? So, after you move it and the sign changes to negative, what do you have on this side? You have the M alone, which means you can actually just subtract this side because it says 3 minus 2. What's 3 minus 2? It's equals to 1. And just like that again, you have found your answer for this side, okay? Let's look at example number two. So in this example, I'm going to be using the first method. What do you do when you have a question like this and you're told to simplify? Which means we want the y, this variable. So again, the first thing would be to get this 3y to be alone this side. So what do we do? In this instance, we have 3y plus 4, okay? So we cancel out this 4. How do we cancel out this 4? By minusing a 4. Okay? Now remember when you minus a 4 on this side of the equation, you need to minus a 4 on the other side of the equation as well. Good. So what's 4 minus 4? It will cancel out and you are left with 3y. What about 13 minus 4 equals to 9? Okay? Now from here, 
we are getting closer it's now 3y equals to 9 now each time you see like a 3y this means it's multiplication because it's 3 times y because there's no sign in between there it's just like 3y so it's multiplication how do we cancel out multiplication by using division okay so we bring out our division lines and because we want to find y we divide this 3y by 3 now remember whatever you do on this side of the equation you do on the other side of the equation so we also divide this side by 3 so what's 3 divided by 3 that will cancel out what about on the other side of the equation what's 9 divided by 3 it's equal to 3 and just like that you have found your answer okay now let's look at example number 3 so we have something like this so what do you do remember our main aim is to find the x to say what is this x equal to now in this question we have 13x minus 8 and on the other side 5x minus 20 meaning we have x on both sides okay so what do we do let's start with this side so let's keep the 13x and cancel out this minus 8 or negative 8 so how do we cancel out negative 8 by plusing a 8 negative 8 plus 8 will cancel out this 8 okay now remember whatever you do on this side you do on the other side so we plus a 8 on the other side as well now remember when you are plusing the 8 you can't plus the 8 to 5x why because 5x is not a like term but you plus it to the negative 20 because 20 is a like term to 8 or in other words let me just say 20 is just a number and 8 is also just a number without an, uh, a letter but this 5x is having a letter okay that's why when you plus your 8 or your other number you plus it to the number without a, uh, a letter good so now when you plus your 8 here this will cancel out okay what will be left when you cancel this two out only 13x what about on the other side the 5x will come down the same way it is and then what's negative 20 plus 8 to give you negative 12 okay so now we are left with this two on this side and on the other side we are left with this one so now what is our main aim our main aim is to have x on one side this x variable on one side so what do we do let's look at this 5x let's cancel this 5x from here so that we can only have a x on this side how do we cancel this 5x by minusing a 5x on this side now remember guys whatever you do on one side you need to do on the other side so on the other side we minus a 5x as well so what is 5x minus 5x it will cancel out and what is left sorry on the other side 13x minus 5x will give you 8x okay so now here we have a 8x after the 5x cancels out on this side we are left with negative 12 now 8x remember this is now multiplication so for us to cancel this out we need to divide by the same 8 now remember whatever you do on one side you do on the other side so we divide this side also by 8 okay now what's 8 divided by 8 equal to x because this two will cancel out hmm? so the 8 and the 8 cancel out you get a x only now what's negative 12 divided by 8 it's equals to negative 1.5 and just like that you found your answer okay thank you all for watching please do like subscribe turn on that notification button to be the first to see the next upload share with friends family and classmates and remember together we rise to higher heights apart we all stay behind cheers